Hi, Floss Team. It's Janet. Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 243. If you're a new friend to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like what you see. Please join up with us by joining the channel and leaving comments and liking this if you enjoy it. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming back to see me again this week. I have finishes. I have no new start. So my work, my finishes, personal stuff to share. I have giveaways. I have I feel like I have the gamut this week, so let's get into this. First of all, right off the top, I'm just gonna address this so that if you notice it, you don't freak out. Um, my face. <laughs> I, I look in the camera here and I don't think you really notice it, but some of you watch me on such a big television, you're possibly gonna notice. So I was injured at work this week, nothing major. I racked my head. Um, I was working on a carrier. If, if I have a picture, I might post it here. Um, but anyway, this carrier, we had to like heat it up and then like heat the metal up and correct something that was bent. Long story, too much detail, but I just want to tell you, I have a black eye. So I'm taking my glasses off. I don't want you to freak out. Um, it's a much better. I actually hit right about here. There's still a little bump there, but, um, like, see, I don't think you can notice it that much, but then I felt like if I didn't tell you, somebody would be scared. <laughs> I've spent the whole week telling everybody the story, how I hit a carrier at work. I have a witness. My work partner was there when it happened. Um, and uh, so it's all good. I'm fine. Just some beautiful coloring. <laughs> so um, with that, and it was scary, I have something else scary to remind you of. If you are somebody that loves scary horror movies or whatnot, um, do not forget to jump on over to Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Primitive. She's got a night of horror boxes. She has a limited quantity of them that she's taken the plunge into her first box ever. So I'm super excited for Bobby. Um, and my kitty cat came to join us. So again, Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Primitives, grab one of those boxes. I feel like, I don't want to give the details wrong, but I feel like it's shipping like in September-ish, um, whatever, so that you can have it for the horror season, which is Bobby's jam. So, um, and there's add-ons of t-shirts and there's bags in it and stuff. So yeah, there's all kinds of good vendors. So go see our friend Bobby. With that, I have a couple other details on the channel to talk about. I have, and we may have a guest because my Ollie, come on kitty kitty, um, hasn't been around for a while. And um, my my little puppy doesn't like, my puppy, Gat Stella, the chocolate lab, not chocolate, charcoal lab doesn't like this kitty cat. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Um, so anyway, uh, maybe he'll come up here because he's trying to get lovins right now. He's rubbing the camera. Um, all right, back to focus, focus, Janet. So anyway, I want to remind you in um, my description box below, there are friends that sell things, but I also want to tell you my happy mail form. Um, if you have filled that out in the past and your address has changed, just go in and refill it out because, um, I go through probably every couple months and look for double entries and like purge the one that's like the older of the new. And the reason I say that is um, not a big deal, but, and I'm not blasting them, but I have a returned piece of mail. So um, I just like to still get all the goodies out and share. Oh, look at this little guy. This little guy is so looking for love. It's, hey, hey, this is my big Ollie cat who sometimes hangs out. Yeah, he doesn't like that new doggy. And I'm hoping the new puppy goes for training for three weeks, uh, leaves this coming weekend. So hopefully um, we'll get some mannerism. There you go, there you go, there you go. We'll get some mannerism and he can stop. This is one of the things they're gonna work on. So um, so hopefully he'll just snuggle down and be part of us right now. All right, I'm so sorry, I'm so distracted already. Okay, so buy me a coffee links, Kofi links, all those things are in the description box below. Go check it out. Um, Next thing, one of the things that we do on this channel, I'm distracted my little love bug because I, he doesn't, hasn't been loving lately. Um, one of my next section, sections on this channel that we love to do is featured friends. So I do have some more in the queue. So, but again, do not hesitate. If you want to send me an email at janetjabber at gmail.com, I'll add it to the list and we'll get into them. But I am super excited to share Missy's. Right here it is, it's Chester's Place. Um, she decided to stitch it. She made it uh, a 2024 New Year's Day start. She finished it in February. She personalized it with her cat's past and present names. She changed the house color to Blue Jeans by Weeks Dye Works, and she used 16 count Avogadro as her um, fabric. 
So that is gorgeous. I love that framework that you have. This was such a cute finish. I, I love everything about it. So thank you very much for sharing that, Missy. I have that one done also. It is on my wall and I um, didn't put the names across there, but I put little paw prints. It was a fun stitch to do. So um, I love that it's customizable and I love all those things. So thank you very much for sharing. Um, something that we haven't done here in a long time that we're doing this week because, um, well, I, it's my birthday week. It's my birthday week. So because it's my birthday week, we're going to do some giveaways. I am going to try to remember off the top of my head rules because it has been a hot minute and I apologize for that. But um, you must be 18 in order to leg legally give me your address. Um, do not say free giveaway. None of those things on, on your comments because it attracts people can search comments. Um, like a general search. Uh, I prefer that you be a U.S. Uh, follower because these are going to be packages. Um, 18. Uh, mm, I feel like I'm missing something. There's no monetary value to these, so if for some reason this gets lost in the mail, I'll, I'll get you something else out, but it won't be an exact duplicate of this. So with that, let's get in and show you what I got. I got five things because I am turning 53. <laughs> got to do math. Um, so I'm in the 50s. So let's do five. I got this like wild hair. All right, so number one, because it is a birthday, um, this is a birthday um, OMG Cupcake Birthday Month series. Um, it is... February's month, but that's okay. So this is a cute little cupcake. So that's number one. All you got to do is put the number down. You don't have to say special words. Number two, because if you've been here a while, you know I love my mill hill. So look at that little bee buzzing. Number three, uh, I love my puppies. And here you got um, Val's stuff. Can't stop. Can't hold my liquor. Lick liquor. <laughs> so cute and as you can see the buttons with it so yay fun number four is all wet seahorse sweethearts uh look at those cute and you could customize them if you didn't like them that color you could change it but love the fabric on this love that and uh i love me some ocean i i'm a girl that can't ocean versus mountains they they both be calling and number five is an oldie but goodie but it's waxy moon designs um take take time and the little, um, I don't know what those are called. Somebody's yelling at me right now, but they're in here. Yo-yos. Uh, it says it on the back. I cheated. Anyway, the little yo-yos are already in there. And again, you could change the colors of stuff. Well, your yo-yos are the color, but if you wanted to pull a certain color, you could change it up. So number five, again, one, two, three, four, five, post, um, what one you would be interested in. And I will do the drawing next week. So with that, let's get on to our next one thing that we have here and that is finishes. And I actually have three finishes. One's like a finish for now, we'll we'll talk about it. Okay, I do a stocking a month from Blackbird Designs, the little booklets. I am on my third year doing these. So um, this is the May one. This was super cute. I love how it, the colors, I tell you, the colors look better in person. Um, this is, can, I hope you can see that. See, like it comes down and then this flowers that. And that's the stocking. Super fun to stitch. And it's done showing you. <laughs> that was fun to stitch. And it is, uh, I do a stocking and a berry a month. And that was my stocking. The next thing I have to show you is my Seasons of, Color of the Seasons by Color, Carolyn Manning. And this is the spring one. So it is done. You okay, Scott? Or you're okay. Um, this is the spring one and it's done. So I have two of these four seasons done now. They're fun, fun, fun to stitch. Um, I know that you can hear that because I can hear it super loud of my baby girl eating, drinking. The next one that I have to show you, I have, there are six in this series. I'm not calling it done because I only have two of them done, but this is my For Mental Health May um, piece that I did this year. Grow through what you go through. That was a fun one to stitch. That back stitching is beautiful. This is an Emma Condon piece. Uh, so that one's done. So like I said, I had, I'll talk to you about plans, what I'm going on to, because the month is almost over. So I'm not going to start another one of those because I don't think I would get it done this year. Anyway, 
Um, what did I stitch on weekly that I have to share with you is just a few projects, but we're jumping in. So this is my Mirabilia, my queen. She has been so fun to stitch this week. So many colors are popping. I am enjoying it greatly. And this is my queen of peace. So I have primarily been working on, you can kind of see, see this color way here in that, in that curve or fold of the dress. And this is a big old bow. So the colors are, actually there's two sections, like here and here and there. So then I'm sure it'll move down, but that's where I'm working at right now. I'm kind of trying to finish off the top half of the chart, except for beads and specialty floss, but that's where she's at. Oh, I'm getting back there. Okay, that's where she's at and she's so good. I love those colors, how they're popping. Those are some purples and um, a couple of uh, blues now. You're just being snotty and not even wanting to say hey, are you? Okay, my next one, which is a whip go call, is Seeking Refuge. Um, I kind of like piddled with this. So I do have my minimum stitches, I think. If I think. Uh, but this is the Scarlet House, Seeking Refuge. I started this in 2020 after the loss of my dad. And this is where I'm at on it. This is on a 20 count Ada that I'm stitching on. So when I say I, I did piddly things on it, what I mean is like I did, what, I got a board right here, but I tried to be all, um, cause the board's not necessarily big enough. So like I did that cat, that bird, 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 that vase, that bird, that cat was already done. Started on that tree. So piddly things, but piddly things that have to be done. Uh, there is a massive 5,000 stitch border here at the bottom, and I'm just like, I don't know, holding it off for last. I don't know why. I don't know, but I am. So that is that. Um, I may take that, we'll talk about it at the bottom, at the end of the video, but I may take that with me on something I'm doing this week. My next stitch is my um, mini Monday, and for that right now is the Sunshine Petites. Hello, Sunshine Petites. This is all four of them. And I am working on my very first one. So the border's done. All the green's done, I believe. These flowers, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. I feel like I have all the crazy noises going on right now. <laughs> the dogs and my, uh, I, I just got my go good morning message from that thing that sits on the counter. <laughs> um, this is uh, Black Needle Society's Frog Warts Year 3. I did not use the dark color. This is my What Wednesday. I'm just trying to, we'll see. Um, but I did not get a lot of stitching done on this this week. All I did literally was this dark rim here. Like, if 70 stitches, it was a rough Wednesday. But 70 stitches, stitches is 70 closer stitches to done. So we'll take it. My next one is for the Grand's Friday. And again, same story. Would have loved to got more on it. This is my see you later. All these sayings. I'm on to the last saying. And I did make good progress. I made progress, but not as great as I would have liked. So um, here's the whole thing. Ooh, and here's what I got. So toodaloo K. Toodaloo K. <laughs> It'll get there. It'll get there. What do I say? That is my stitching for this week. So um, I am super happy with the progress. A little bit of stitching is better than none for me anyway. Um, stitching, I don't know if I've said this on here. I'm sure I have, but stitching is my calm. So like it is what like the noise of it, the rhythm of it, it is what brings me so much joy to calm my day and start my day and all the things. But um, starting my day, that's not always first anymore because of W-A-L-Ks. All right, I wanna give a couple of, I got two pieces of mail and they were happy birthday cards and I want to share them. I'm so excited for them. This is from Tiffany. Um, she is from Ohio and, oh, babies. She's from Ohio and she makes these handmade cards. So this is a handmade card and there's a little message inside. Thank you very much for that, Tiffany. Please don't knock my camera, bud. Please. And then Nikki sent me another card, a big old happy sunshine sunflower. I love this card also. And she sent me um, a couple of uh, pieces of, uh, a couple of flosses that encompass like sunflowers. So thank you very much for that. I love them. I love these colors. So thank you. Thank you. Um, I look forward to sprinkling that in somewhere where I need, where uh, I'm going to substitute a sunflower color. 
look forward to that. Um, okay, so what else do I have going on? So I'm going to say I'm not sure how much stitching I'm going to get done this week. But like I know me, I'll still get my basics. I'll still stitch every day um, on my queen. I'll still get my weekly stitching done. I, uh, uh, But I am going on a trip to be the... Um, my kids have a wedding to go to. So they're taking their Nana the nanny with them is what we keep saying. So basically... I'm going to just help while they're at the wedding. I'm going to stay in the hotel with the grands and watch them while they celebrate the um, marriage of a very, a friend of theirs. So, um, a quick little getaway, no big deal, but it's not like, I'm not like going on vacation. I'm just helping out the kids. But anyway, because of that, I'm not sure what stitching will get done. But again, I know my basic stitching will get done, but I want to share with you what else I got going. So that's why I said that Seeking Refuge may go with because it's an Ada and maybe if I worked before the trip to like outline, I can like just fill in. That may be a thought. We'll see. Who knows? No promises. Oops, I hit you that, that, that time, not the cat. Um, all right, so, but my, my seasonal one for um, Colors of the Seasons done and I have the spring one of this to pull out. And this is Seasons of the Heart by um, with Thy Needle and Thread. So I have the spring one to get started. So that'll get started. It didn't seem to be that long of a stitch when I did it before. So we'll see. But again, I like to do a seasonal stitch. The next one is my mental health. My mental health May for Candy the 614 Stitcher. She has a mental health awareness style going on. So since my one Emiconda got finished, I am pulling this back out. My Dr. Myangelo. Um, and gonna work on some flowers for it for the rest of the month. So I already have all the words done um, and I am going to pull that out, which is a very positive saying for us. And last but not least, because we're still doing May or May, I feel like I've encompassed all of it. Man Manning May, uh, Mental Health May, and um, Mirror May. Did I say that? Manning May, Mirror May, Mental health may. If there's another one going on, I don't know what it is. So, um, but I am pulling out my um, retreat from Queen City, and I'm gonna see about working on her dress a little bit more. So I would love to come back to you and have like the rest of that part of the dress filled in, which should be doable because I don't have to like count. I just have to like go go at it. So we shall see where I get in regards to that. And yes, I substituted colors. The original dress is like orange and pink. And um, I changed to a different blue scheme of water lilies. That's it. That's all the stitching I have. That's all my birthday stuff. Um, that's my plans as far as stitching goes. If you're wanting to stick around for personal stuff, I got some personal stuff, plans, and whatnot to share. So um, I have not mentioned this on before, but I am into a... Uh, Taylor Swift learning experience. I just, re I think I have mentioned this before, but because I was talking about vinyls last week. Well, anyway, my daughter found that literally the day before my birthday, there is a Taylor Swift experience in the town north of me. And basically it's free. Go to this big old barn. Um, basically they've hired a young lady that I, from what I gather, she just graduated high school, but she goes around and sing some Taylor Swift songs. So what a fun thing. My daughter and I are going to go leave. Um, I think we may take Ozzy because she jams to some Taylor Swift. She is so cute. I I can't share the video because of the, the song in the background, but um, she like holds on to it and she bebops. It's so adorable. Um, so that's going on. And then, um, oh, I'm going to pop a couple pictures in here. So I'll recap for my week. So um, I had both the grandbabies one day because Lizzie had a doctor's appointment. I was rocking it. Yes, I had them all day. My son stops in for a hot minute. I'm like, take this picture for me real quick. So, um, and then he was gone. So uh, as much as he lives here, a 20-year-old boy is really not helping in regards to that. But he did uh, take the picture for me. And I think I was, I was trying to feed the baby and I think he got Ozzy's bottle it like poured her milk into her bottle for her and then he was peace out done <laughs> gone um so that went on i am still doing my daily walks with my dog i have said this on here before that i'm a fair weather walker so uh, i do get out there and i am obsessive about it right now um so there's that and then over the weekend um 
I needed to, oh, Lizzie, I was on my way home from, oh, a car. I got these pictures too. My husband and I went for coffee and car and uh, it was such a cute little thing. So we went and had coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I got a chai tea. And I, so I have a picture of him and me out. And then I have a picture of like just an overview of the car show. I mean, it's a car show, but it was the first time ever of him going. He has a 944 Porsche, like a 1986, I think. Um, it's like, it's an, it's from one of the 1980s movies. 16 candles maybe I don't know anyway uh so he has it and it's drivable so we took it up there and did that and on our way back Lizzie stuck called and wanted me to swing by because she bought me this drink and she wanted me to try it um aka it's on Lonnie for energy because I clearly need that um so as we swung by basically we kidnapped Ozzy we knew they needed to come to our house and pick up lawn chairs and stuff. So we just snagged Ozzy out and she came with us. We brought her home. Um, Grandpa, I had, it was milk time. My daughter called me. She's like, it's milk time and the lunch if you can do it. So Grandpa whipped her up with this charcuterie board and Ozzy was just loving the fact she didn't understand what was happening, but she knew Grandma and Grandpa had her. So that was kind of cool. So Nana and Papa's to the rescue and did that. So uh, we are always up to shenanigans around here and I love sharing what I can. Um, Henry is doing great too. You see, I was feeding him in that. So he is a breastfed baby, but he takes bottles when somebody else, of course, needs to watch him for her. And um, he is almost five months and he is trying really hard to sit up. He's very interested in sitting up and he's very interested in like standing up when you like change his diapers and put his clothes on him. So, um, I don't know. They just keep growing and going. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to get going so I can get you onto your next channel and I can get the w-a-l-k done so with that thank you very much for stopping by this week i hope you had a wonderful visit and found something that you liked in here so get on to your next channel and i'll see you next time have a great week so please keep stitching enjoy life and i'm sending you so much love bye